Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we'll learn about 14 signs of a weak-minded person. Now, let's begin. Have you ever met someone who was mentally or emotionally weak? The term weak-minded usually describes people that are lacking in sound judgment or common sense. However, this term means something slightly different in the context of self-improvement. A weak-minded person typically has what's known as a weak mindset. For example, they have trouble motivating themselves to accomplish specific goals. They don't take responsibility for their mistakes, and they frequently allow others to control them. These traits can be destructive on their own. You might see weak-minded people stagnating in the workplace, clinging to toxic friendships, or missing out on romantic opportunities. Now, despite these failures, weak-minded people never seem to address their issues or improve their situation. At the core of any weak mentality is a fundamental lack of awareness or understanding of what you're doing wrong. In other words, weak-minded people run into conflicts socially, professionally, and romantically because they refuse to take ownership of their weaknesses and their shortcomings. They consistently find reasons to blame other people or skirt around the issue, and as a result, nothing changes and these weak-minded people fall deeper into a destructive cycle. Under the surface, weak-minded people are often self-critical and insecure. But when you meet them in real life, they'll pretend otherwise. They'll try to disguise their weaknesses and to convince you they're stronger than they really are. And for this reason, weak-minded people rely heavily on the validation of others to justify their choices. They're constantly trying to prove themselves to you because they can't prove anything to themselves. If, for example, if a weak-minded person is yelled at by a superior, he may insult or gossip about his boss behind her back instead of improving his work. That way, others will take his side and validate his shortcomings. Hey, if you're watching this video, someone in your life may have a weak mindset. You may be worried about your friend, your partner, or even yourself. Even if you or someone you know is weak-minded, there will always be room to grow and to change. Becoming aware of your shortcomings is the first step toward a stronger mentality. So, let's dive into 14 signs that you or someone you know is a weak-minded person. Number 1. The Quitter's Mindset When something becomes more difficult than you expected, what do you do? Strong-minded people buckle down and they work hard to overcome life's many hurdles, finding a sense of accomplishment by surpassing their expectations. On the other hand, weak-minded people quit as soon as things get tough. They have trouble achieving their goals because they don't stick with anything long enough to see it through. They find a reason to walk away as soon as the going gets tough. Why? Well, because they don't have enough willpower or the self-discipline to work hard when it counts. If you notice a pattern of quitting in yours or somebody else's life, challenge them or yourself to finish what you started. Often, weak-minded people don't have faith in themselves, but one real accomplishment can give you the confidence that you need. Number 2. Missing your purpose Do you have trouble sticking to a concrete goal? Many weak-minded people struggle to motivate or discipline themselves enough to achieve anything significant. You may have loose, unstructured goals that you tell other people, but the truth is that you've made little progress toward actually achieving them. Or maybe you don't have any goals at all. When you think about what you want out of life, nothing seems to come to mind. You may think you're just not driven, but the truth is, you have a weaker mentality than you think. Number 3. Failure to Deliver If you know a weak-minded person, you may have had an experience like this before. You hear them talking about how passionate and accomplished they are, how much they love their job and they find meaning in their work, yet they never actually do anything. When a task falls in front of them, they create excuses and avoid doing the work they supposedly love. So what gives? Weak-minded people have a bad habit of saying one thing and doing another. If someone in your life talks a big game but they don't deliver, they may be a weaker person than you realize. 
Number 4. Destructive Criticism You can immediately tell how strong someone is by how they react to criticism or feedback. Strong-minded people welcome constructive feedback and consider other people's opinions. They can separate their emotions from their personal or professional growth, allowing them to learn and improve. Weak-minded people, on the other hand, have trouble separating their actions from their emotions. When they hear criticism or feedback, they react defensively and they lash out as if the other person is attacking their character. Number 5. Apologetic Manipulation Apologies are one of many ways that weak-minded people seek validation from others. Even if they didn't do anything wrong, they apologize not because they feel remorse, but because they want others to feel sorry for them. A weak-minded person wants you to say they didn't do anything wrong and that everything will be okay. They're using you as a source of approval and validation so they can feel better about themselves. Number 6. The Obsession Problem Weak-minded people have a bad habit of obsessing over their problems, fears, and insecurities. Now, by itself, obsession is not inherently problematic. However, for someone with a weak mentality, obsessive thoughts may lead them to imagine impossible scenarios. It takes a strong person to make sense of their obsessive thoughts, to draw a line between what's possible and what's not. If you're weak-minded, you may be unable to tell the difference. Number 7. Extreme Emotional Outbursts Weak-minded people have a hard time moderating their emotions. They're often overwhelmed by feelings that they can't explain and make thoughtless, highly emotional decisions. When they get angry, for example, they may lose their tempers, leading to emotional outbursts that can do more harm than good. Look, no matter who you are, your emotions are valid and important, even the extreme ones. All your emotions help you understand yourself and what you want out of life. But if you allow those emotions to cloud your judgment, you may make decisions you'll regret down the road. Number 8. Running from Reality Disappointment can be hard to swallow, but even at their lowest moments, strong-minded people find ways to improve. Weak-minded people, on the other hand, run from their reality. They cut ties, they forego their responsibilities, and they penalize others for their failures, anything to avoid the truth. This mindset is unhelpful and, in many cases, toxic to yourself and others. It's not easy to face your failures, but it's because of those failures that you can grow stronger. Number 9. The Shortcut Mentality Strong-minded people aren't afraid to take the road less traveled. When they set a goal, they intend to accomplish it, not in the shortest amount of time, but to the best of their ability. Now, sometimes that means long hours and laborious work. Other times, it means returning to the drawing board and starting over. In short, people with strong mentalities aren't interested in the easy road, but weak-minded people aren't nearly as disciplined. If there's ever an opportunity to take a shortcut, a weak-minded person will take it. They might say something like, I'm just being efficient, or this is the smart way to work. But the truth is, they're too lazy to go the extra mile. You may see evidence of this mentality in their work, their relationships, and their daily habits. They consistently take the easy road because this person has a weak mentality. Number 10. Terrifying Transformations Change is hard, and weak-minded people often try to avoid it. Changes in your lifestyle or career force you to confront new challenges and adapt to new situations. These things are scary, no matter who you are. It requires discipline and mental strength to approach new changes with confidence. Not only are you setting your old ways aside, but you're taking the risk of failing at something new. And that's a risk that many weak-minded people are unwilling to take. Number 11. Holding on to negativity Do you hold grudges against people who hurt or offend you? This is a telltale sign of a weak mindset. You stew on the smallest offenses and expect others to beg for your forgiveness. 
But all you're doing is storing unnecessary negativity. You may think you're punishing the people in your life by holding grudges, but the only person you're hurting is yourself. Number 12. Decision Paralysis Do you have a hard time making decisions? Weak-minded people go back and forth over the smallest things because they're too paralyzed by indecision to make up their minds. So what do they do? They find ways to avoid making any of their own decisions. Instead, they turn to authority figures to decide for them. And that way, they have someone else to blame if things go wrong. Number 13. The Self-Pity Cycle Sometimes, life doesn't go your way. And it's okay to feel bad when something bad happens to you, but there's a difference between grieving and giving up. Many weak-minded people use their bad experiences as an excuse to give up. They stop trying to better their lives so their situation never improves. They consistently frame themselves as victims, but this toxic cycle of self-pity isn't helping anyone. Number 14. Shirking the Blame Weak-minded people have an excuse for everything, especially their bad habits. They're quick to blame things like their job or relationship for the failure in their life. If they don't meet their goals, they say it's because their partner is weighing them down. If they don't show up on time, they blame other drivers on the road, even if they were the ones who lost track of time. So why are excuses so common among weak-minded people? Because they allow us to avoid responsibility for our mistakes. Excuses are one way we pass the blame. But accepting that blame, or at least a portion, will make you a stronger individual. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.